Hello and welcome to today's episode of Do It The Smart Way. Thank you for joining me. Today I'd like to show you how to measure the valve recession. Checking the valve recession regularly will enable you to draw conclusions about the wear of the valve base and valve seat ring at an early stage. To check the valve recession, the engine must have cooled down, the spark plugs must have been removed, the engine turning device must have been fitted, and the respective cylinder must be set to ignition TDC. Episode 2 already showed how to do this. When you enter the engine room, don't forget to put on your personal protective equipment, and be sure to follow the safety instructions in your operating manual. The measurement must always be carried out after the maintenance intervals and the cylinder must be set to ignition TDC. In this way, both valves will be closed. Before we start measuring, we need to remove the cylinder head cover gasket, since otherwise our measurement will no longer be correct later on. For the measurement, we need this device and a depth gauge. Next, I set up the measuring device, which can be fastened with a screw. I now use the depth gauge to measure from the top of the valve spring plate to the measuring device. First, at the long inlet duct. Now I can read the value. Next, the short inlet duct. Then, the long outlet duct. And finally, the short exhaust duct. Finally, I dismantle the measuring device and put my cylinder head cover gasket back on. To measure the other cylinder heads, I proceed according to the firing order. So now you've learned another step to take in order to prevent engine damage. Our product support team will be pleased to receive the valve recession information. Thanks for watching and see you next time at Do It The Smart Way.